Hey everyone, what's up? It's Lena. So, as you all know, I've been doing some more vlogs. And today, I really wanted to do this because I am finally, or I am finally changing my point shoes. My point shoes have died. I use Freeds. So these are my Freeds. They're in the cross maker, if you can see that over there. Through X. Yeah. And what's really cool about Shukot is that they put your name on them. Um, they weren't able to do that for these because I had to ship them over from Tokyo since I can't go home in the pandemic. They have officially died in this pandemic. How do you know if a shoe is dead? Well, look at this. They're practically ballet shoes. <laughs> and the shanks have completely come off already. Yeah, I guess I have a talking shoe. Well, I mean, I could use these for, I guess, ballet shoes, remove the shanks and reuse them. But for now, they're gonna be on the side because the other one sure is a lot more dead than the other shoe. You can technically see what's inside it. We should do one that's about like shoes and like how it looks inside. That would be really fun, right? So today I'm going to be doing a how I prep my point shoes. So these are my new shoes in Chakot when I buy them. They actually already pre-sew them. Um, what I like about pre-sewn, well, I technically ha uh, machine sew and don't hand sew my point shoes. It's a lot easier. I know it's really fun. I used to hand sew, but then it's a lot more sturdy also when you machine sew. If I do hand sew, I make sure I use dental floss so it doesn't come off. But machine sewing has saved so much time for me. And they do it for us except the garter. So they only sew the top part of the garter and we just sew it in ourselves. So I'm gonna do that also over a machine, but let me show you how I prep my point shoes. So first off, um, well, you get your point shoes. <laughs> and when you get them, well, for mine, especially the Freeds, they're still really hard. So I really need the box area to be a little softer. So I soften it up. That's the first thing I would do. Mm, not so much. You can also always, you know, um, soften the shanks with your feet anyway. But with a box, you can't really go and then soften them. So I just press them a little on the sides like this. And if it doesn't come in, because like this is how soft I want them to get from my old shoe. So it would be comfortable. So if it doesn't um, soften in, eventually they do. If still not, I would get rubbing alcohol and just place it on the side. And that would soften up the shanks. Oh, I mean shanks. The box. <laughs> Second is I will darn my shoe on the end. Especially Freed's. I do really need to darn them. So I do have a darning video. You don't have to watch me darn my shoes. You do need a needle. Hold on. Let me try to give you a better view of that. But it's like this. It is a curved needle with my darning string and I just start darning the end. Freeds are pretty easy to darn. I have a video actually on darning shoes with Abby Olivero and I also have one of darning Gainer Mindens with Denise Parungao of Ballet Philippines so you guys can catch that in case you're looking for kind of darning tips but for myself I just darn it the way Abby taught me well because I'm using traditional shoes which are Freeds and I usually start with the very base, you know, round. If you watch that video, you'll get an idea of how to darn. What I love about darning is that it makes it a whole lot easier, of course, to stand on your shoes. And not just that, um, it also makes your shoes last longer. So there are darning methods, I know, that help your shoes kind of like come back to life. Isn't that fun? Um, you know, I've seen old shoes like being darned also like from the past like passed down from history. I mean if we don't pass down tradition they get lost. So this is something I also really love about ballet is that it is a tradition I really want to pass down and improve. So yeah that's my kind of motto in life as a teacher. There so I kind of do the base first so you can see it already has like a round part compared to this where you can't yeah so you don't know where really it ends or it stands. So this one helps you with standing on your point shoes. I love darning freeds because they are so easy to darn. Like they are so darn easy to darn <laughs> compared to gainers. Gainers are so hard to darn and they never shape well 
on my feet. I mean like they're good shoes for just like whenever I need a shoe but if I really do want like a big a better hold of the floor and to feel the floor I really do need to use traditional shoes and my freeds have been amazing like through the years. I love the crossmaker so much. I use this specific stretch type ribbon. You know I have a stretch type ribbon comparison. Mine is a semi stretch and I love these semi stretch um, ribbons because they're not stretchy like the garterized ones that I've seen. I never knew there were types, that's why I made a mistake on my loop stretching video, which you can also see in my YouTube channel. But these types are, or this type, isn't as stretchy, but it gives enough kind of elastic to support up your heel. But it's not like that stretch that's so crazy stretch stretch type. So that's what I'm avoiding. And I really like this garter mesh type. So it also helps with the tights when I wear them. Um, it's not as visible. I'm halfway through my darning. Usually I do two rounds of this. So now you can see, hold on. Do you see the ends? Ah, I'm almost there through the first one. And then I'll show you how, yeah, after I prep, I just kind of roll through my feet. So there, isn't that so pretty? So I mean, like this is part of my point shoe prep and you can already see it feels like or it seems like it's gonna stand so much better than the shoe just like that's just not darn so yeah this is part of my prepping routine alrighty I have finished one shoe <laughs> I think I can make a thicker darn I don't really complicate my shoe prep I know some people who do but this is really mostly what I would do for shoe prep and then I would probably, after I wear it, I would double tie this string and then I would just cut it off. I don't like to keep the strings because I don't like them getting lost. So, hold on. So I'm gonna show you guys. These are the toe pads that I use. I also have a vlog on the stretch shell toe pads that I use. I guess this is like the best way to break in your shoes, right? Which is using your own feet. So I'll show you guys. Hold on. And, um... I'll use my flooring and there there we go so I guess how we would break in is just demi point of course right now they're still quite hard let me tie my just one part of the shoe mm -hmm. so again like what I said this string I just cut it off so they're double knotted now Hi. So here, I double knotted the string of the shoe. I'm just gonna get a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna chop them off. So make sure you double knot tight. And there, I don't want to see them anymore. So I'll just leave, I usually just leave kind of like a little, just in case I change my mind for the sizing. But as of now, I feel like this is it. And I just kind of tie it off. I haven't sewn in these elastics so I'm just gonna pop them in here on the side but you can see I why I love these shoes so much and now that they're darn they're so darn comfy perfect and perfect to wear perfect support they're great to roll through also I love Freed so much and I just love the look of these shoes and I love, yeah. So when I use them, what I want is that I can really roll through my toes like this and wiggle them. Do you see? That's, that's a very, very, very important part of, well, me choosing which point shoe I want, which is the roll through of the feet and the comfort and of course I want them snug enough so these are like perfectly fit and snug there's no like moving around inside I really don't like that <laughs> when they're loose and you know you can't feel the floor or the shoes so that's mostly it for my point shoe prep for breaking in this is also kind of just all I do is just some releves but if you guys want a second video to that this is how I prep my shoes and just to add actually do you see the difference of a darned and an undarned shoe 
And do you get the idea of why it's so much more easy to stand on the darn shoe than on a shoe that is kind of like this where the edges, you don't know where they end, they're kind of round. So just some ideas maybe you'd consider darning your shoes. I hope you enjoyed this really short vlog on prepping my point shoes and I shall see you till the next ones.